Hello everyone, my name is Sanji and I'm a PhD student at Imperial in the Space and Atmospheric Physics group and I'll be taking you through just over a day in my life. So we're here in Northern Norway for six weeks, just inside the Arctic Circle doing some climate science. Now our instrument is stationed at the LMR Observatory, it's got an altitude of around 300 meters and let me tell you it is snowy up there so we've got to do a bit of digging to clear the path and if I'm honest I'm just finishing off what everyone already did. So it's 9am, we've got our first weather briefing very kindly run by the University of Oslo and then it's time to set up our instrument. So this is Finesse, it's the Far Infrared Spectrometer for Surface Emissivity and was funded by the National Centre for Earth Observation. Now there are sensors all over the instrument that we have to set up, but the most exciting things are liquid nitrogen coal. This takes parts of the instruments down to around minus 200 degrees Celsius and really improves our measurements. This morning we'll be focusing on our first goal, measuring the emissivity of snow. Now for this, finesse will be pointed down at the sample. While the sky is nice and clear, we'll be doing these measurements all morning before switching to look at ice clouds when they come over in the afternoon. Those cables there are leading out to the instrument and we've kept the garage door closed to keep it as warm as possible in here. And then this is all connected to our setup here. So the instrument is called from the computer. You can see this is where we connect up all the temperature of the port so we can keep an eye on the instrument. And then this is the actual spectrum it's measuring. So this region here is the far infrared. This is the mid-infrared, and basically you can figure out where different gases are absorbing and stuff like that from the spectra. And on this computer, we've got a bunch of monitors out by the instrument. So this graph shows the CO2 variation. And so this is when we took it outside, really, and now it's stabilized. This is probably someone's head being right near it. This is the temperature. So this, you can see, it goes down as we take it outside. And then we've got relative humidity, pressure, and temperature again. So we're keeping track of everything, really. Now there is literally snow everywhere, so using this aluminium sheet we can carve out a nice slab to measure. It doesn't have to be too thick as only the top layer really matters. What is important is to measure all of the other details about the snow, like the crystal size and density, so we know why it's emitting radiation that way. We have these, and we're going to eat the whole pack. It's 2pm and it's time to measure some ice clouds. Now the instrument is pointed up to look at the clouds. But like with the snow, we need to know all of the different properties involved, things like the crystal sizes, the crystal shapes, and also the altitude of the cloud itself. For that, we have some amazing collaborators who are on a plane right now, doing laps through the cloud, while we're tracking it from the ground. It's only really worth taking measurements of the ice clouds when we've got the plane measuring them at the same time. So for the rest of the day, we'll just be looking at the emissivity of different samples. For now, we'll just wheel the instrument back in because there's a bit of cloud coming over and we've got our weather briefing and very nutritious dinner lined up. Okay, so it's 9.30. There's clouds for the rest of the evening until about 1am, so that's when we're going to sleep. <laughs> okay, it is about 6am. The sun has started to rise. The LiDAR is still going and we're still taking measurements. Um, we've got a couple left to do of this sample, then we're going to switch over to an ice sample and then we're good to go. For some reason, I bought the biggest gloves in the world, so as you can see, my job is holding the wires as we wheel it outside. We'll be measuring another snow sample and then an ice sample to get some variety in what we're seeing, and then it's time to wheel Finesse nest back in after it's had a hard day's work. For us, however, I've still got to back up all the data and make sure everything's good to go, and then we can drive that down. Okay, so it's around 3 p.m. now. We just got back to our accommodation, and I'm pretty tired, as is everyone else. But thanks for joining me in the day of my life.